Jack, do you know what this is? Yes. What is it? It's a sock. Do you know what's wrong with this sock? Nope. There's only one of them. I only have one sock. Today is National Lost Sock Day. <laughs> I know it's kind of funny to remember all of the lost socks in the world, but I thought it would be awesome to draw a sock today. Yes. So we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're using markers, mm -hmm. some, some paper. paper, and something to color with. All right, let's get started. Okay. We're first going to draw two lines down the middle of our, well, let's draw them off to the left so that we have room for the toe. We're going to draw a line over here. The toe. The, yeah, toes. <laughs> <laughs> the toe of the sock. <laughs> and we're going to draw another line right next to it. Well, a little further over than right next to it, but it matches. Okay, now right here at the top, let's draw a little curve that comes in. So we're just going to draw the elastic at the top of our sock. Then we can draw a line that connects those two lines. Then let's draw the, the elastic part. So we're going to draw a shorter line coming up on both sides that match. Then let's connect those two lines. Now let's draw the bottom of our sock. So we first could draw the heel. We're going to draw a curve that comes out a little and then back in. Yeah. Then we're going to draw a big U shape that's diagonal. So we're going to start right here at the heel. We're going to draw the big U shape that comes around like this and then back up and connect. It looks like a sock, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you did a great job. Now let's add some designs to our sock to make them look really cool, not just plain white socks. Mm -hmm. All right, let's be creative. So we're going to draw a curve. Be creative right? with our socks. Yeah, let's draw a curve for the heel. Then we can also draw a curve down here for the toe. Then let's add some stripes. Now, you guys don't have to follow along and draw the same designs that we're drawing on our socks. You guys could use your own creativity and add your own designs. Let's add a few more stripes. Okay. So there's one stripe. I'm gonna add two more lines for another stripe and two more lines for a third stripe up here at the top. All right, dude, I love your stripes. You want to add a few more? Sure, I'll do zigzags. Oh, that'd be even cooler. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our socks. They look really cool, and I love how simple this lesson is, but we could even spend more time being creative if we wanted to. Let's leave it just like this, but add one more thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, we need to add color to make our drawings look even cooler. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it if you want to match the same coloring, or you could use your own creativity and color your socks any way you want. Yes. All right, let's fast forward. Jack, good job, man. You did awesome on coloring your sock. I love that you chose different colors. Looks really cool with that orange and the teal. Now, if our art friends want to draw two socks, what could they do? Draw another sock. Y yeah, <laughs> you could draw another sock. But use overlapping. Yeah, just draw part of the sock over here and use the same design and it would look like two socks, but you only had to draw part of the second one. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your lost sock. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. That, that's what they could do. They could they draw go, their own sock yeah, that they've lost. Go find that one sock that's sitting in your drawer that's lonely and draw him a friend. Yes. <laughs> we hope you had fun. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.